So, over the past few months, frame drops and rust have gotten so shit. And this could be because of caves, could have been because of shit optimization, but I don't think it's because of optimization because the devs have made so many optimizations every patch. It seems pretty unlikely. So I tried to figure out um, how to fix these frame drops and just an idea that I thought of was maybe skins because frame drops are getting like substantially worse every single month or every single patch, whatever. And every single patch, every single month, uh, a ton of more skins are being added and I was so desperate to get rid of these frame drops so I tried to look for a way to essentially delete skins. So I checked on or I asked on reddit and one suggestion that someone suggested to me was to delete the files of the skins on my computer. So I tried this and it worked wonders. It was crazy how much an improvement it made on my frame drops, how little frame drops I had compared to before I had the skin files on my computer and essentially this made it so I was not loading skins in the game and all the skins I saw were like vanilla skins like just no skins just normal unskinned items and whenever a skinned item was in your inventory its inventory icon was like a little gray square you'll see later on but um yeah so I'm gonna show you guys how you can delete the skins off your computer and not load skins in the game Alright, so you want to start by going onto whatever drive you have Rust installed on. For me, I have it on my hard drive just because my SSD didn't make a difference. So you, I'm going to go to my hard drive because that's where I have Rust installed. And then you want to go to the folder called Program Files 86 or whichever folder that the Steam folder is in. You go to your Steam folder. Then you go to your Steam Apps folder. Then you go to Workshop. You go to Content. Then you want to go to the folder that's number 252490. And in here, the folder is empty because I've already deleted all my skins. But you'll have a shit ton of folders inside of this folder. And if you can even go inside those folders to check that they are skins themselves, like you can click on the PNGs and JPEGs that are, that's in the folder to see that they're skins. But what you want to do, you just want to select all the folders inside of the 252490 folder, delete all of them, uh, restart your Rust if you already have it open, and then you'll be good to go. And there's an additional step you'll need to do related to Steam that I'll show you in a second. I'm going to go ahead and open Steam, and then <clears throat> go in the top left where it says Steam, click on Steam, click on Settings, and then go to the download section in the Settings. And there's two things you want to do. Uh, actually, there's only one thing you need to do. Um, where it says only auto update games between, you want to choose two different hours that your computer is never or rarely going to be on and that you're not going to be playing Rust between. And I chose 6 a.m. and 7 a.m. just because I'm never out that late and because I'm not going to be on that early. So you want to choose two different hours. It has to be two different hours, it can't be the same hour. So I'll choose 6 a.m. and 7 a.m. for me. You choose whatever hours work for you. And then, you, and just from my experience, it won't download skins. Or it'll only download skins between those two hours. And if your computer's off, it can't download skins. And then you won't ever get skins. And then you won't get lag. And you will have minimal frame drops or frame drops that are only responsible to loading in big bases and not due to skins. Oh, and you also want to have allowed downloads during gameplay unticked. 